Peace to the galaxy, it's your boy Supreme, back with another vlog, and today is a good ass day, man. Today, I'm starting it off in nature, you know, just breathing in some of this good ass prana, man, getting some sun, man. I just wanna talk about nature real fast before we get to the snakes, man, but make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and join Invader Nation for me. We're about to hit uh, 900. Remember I said when we get to 1,000 subscribers, we're doing a giveaway, man. I really appreciate everybody who's joined along, you know, came along for the journey and joined Invader Nation, man. Make sure y'all, you know, uh, get in the comments and tell me what stuff you want me to talk about. If you want me to do more vlog style type videos, if you want me to highlight some specific snake morphs or, you know, more nature style videos, but just let me know. But let me say something about nature real fast, right? So the cool thing about nature for me, right? This is the Chattahoochee River, you know, it's always flowing. It makes me, you know, I get downloads when I come out in the nature, right? And when I come out here, I practice meditation sometimes, something I'm trying to get back into. Um, I know this time of year, so it's June now, right? This is usually when a lot of people who had New Year's resolutions start to fall off. And, you know, one of the things I fell off of, you know, I'm not perfect either, you know, um, I fell off of meditation, right? So I used to practice meditation. I used to come out here and meditate, you know, every day. I would do 11 minutes. I would practice the Wim Hof method and it would really recharge me, right? And I just want to just press on how important it is to just come out in nature and to get off of your phone and to find those things that recharge you in life. And you don't always have to be, you know, plugged in to the matrix. You don't always have to be on Instagram or on YouTube or, you know, at a party or somewhere. Just don't forget to recharge, man. Always remember that life is a stream or a constant flow. So there's always gonna be more things that pop up in your life, right? And it's always okay just to come aside, you know, and just chill, get your thoughts together, take deep breaths and get, get more present. You know what I'm saying? That's what meditation does. That's what breathing does. That's what coming out and getting sun does. It recharges you and it makes you more present, you know? All right, that's enough with the woo-woo, with the woo-woo stuff, man. If you like the woo-woo stuff, tell me your experience in nature in the comments, man. But let's go look at some snakes. All right, now let's talk about snakes, right? I got a few things to talk about. You know, it's a lot, but not a lot going on over here at Invader Reptiles, right? You know, it's it's Friday, it's going into the weekend, and this is typically, you know, when I hold my snakes. I got Wednesday out because I'm trying to, you know, I don't know. You know, I've been spending a lot of time with her trying to get her tamed down, but I got a few different, uh, I got a few updates for you guys, right? I want to talk about my breeding season, and also I want to just talk about something real fast. Um, someone asked, like, how often do you hold your ball pythons? And I said, uh, I gave like a quick explanation. Like I said, like, um, it depends on the personality and the timing. And I want to just expand on that real fast. You see, Wednesday definitely needs to be tamed down. She's really shy. I mean, it's during the day, right? So let's talk about this. Depending on what time of day it is when you go to actually pick up your snake, I think determines how their uh, personality will be at the time as well, right? So, you know, snakes are nocturnal, so it's during the day, it's pretty bright. You see, she's trying to ball up. She's also my shyest one, but she's trying to ball up, but it, it usually doesn't take her, you know, too long to come out, you see? But today is the perfect day to hold Wednesday, right? Just to put in that work, because that's what taming your ball python is all about. It's about building that trust. And I got Wednesday out, she's not in shed. She ate a few days ago. So that means she's really like least likely to poop on me. So it's like, that's also something that you have to worry about when you have snakes. I mean, anybody who know who has snakes just knows that's just part of the snake life, right? But um, yeah, so uh, another thing, that's what I'm saying, the timing, the timing. So pretty much all my other snakes are in shed right now, right? Mongoo is in shed, uh, Marcin is in shed, my super dwarf reticulated python is in shed. I can't wait for him to shed. This is going to be the first time that he sheds since I've had him. So he's going to be looking great. I'm probably going to do like a whole video dedicated to him outside so you can see his iridescence and everything in there. But let, let's talk about ball pythons. Let's get back to ball pythons, right? So it depends on the personality 
how often or when you hold your snake and then also like if they're in shed or not you don't want to hold your snake while they're in shed because you know they have foggy eyes and they can't really see um so you know they're more likely to bite you i mean imagine if somebody tried to pick you up and you got you know some drunk goggles on i mean you might punch scream come on man i'm over here i'm shooting a video <laughs> but anyways man so just uh it depends on the personality of the snake and you know what time of day it is sometimes i just bring my ball pythons out on the day you know people say you shouldn't hold them more than one time a day i hold my snakes as many times as i believe that their personality can take it so i might pick up my snake in the morning and if i go to and there's different types of handling like there's a difference between holding them out for you know an hour versus you know just picking them up just to clean out their enclosure so that's one thing to think about you know you don't you don't actually have to count when you just pick them up move them real fast for a, as a handling session I, I think a handling session is really when you get them out you know you have them out for at least 15 30 minutes plus that would count as an actual handling session so that's pretty much it right i i pick and choose who I should hold based off of who really needs it the most. And at this time, Wednesday needs it the most. Everybody else is pretty tame. So, and you know, uh, like I said, Mongo is in shed, uh, Sosa is in shed, Storm's in shed. Speaking of shed, you know, let's, let's go ahead. Let me show you Storm. Let me give you guys a real fast update on this breeding season, right? Because I think we're about to get our first pre-lay shed. Let me go ahead and put Wednesday back. Let's look at Storm real fast. So, like I said, we did get a definite lock with storm so if you can see her eyes they look kind of smoky she definitely looks bigger now you see that little bulge in her body hold up this is the first time i've seen her since then so i think we're about to get a pre-lay it looks like let me make sure the lighting is good over here so so right now you see her eyes are pretty smoky. You can see her body is actually much bigger and there's a lump in her body. So it looks like we're about to get our pre lay shed, man. I'm so excited, man. This is my first clutch over at Invader Reptiles. You know, we're gonna be able to prove out Sosa, see like what all he is. Is he just Mojave? Is he fire Mojave? You know, this is great and I'm, I'm loving the process. So we're getting some eggs this year, definitely. We see we got ovulation. We're about to get a pre lay shed. And this is, I'm gonna share, share with you guys, you know, some up and coming stuff. It's not completed yet, but this right here, this is underneath my desk in my room. I guess I'll probably have to give like a full, you know, reptile room tour so you can see exactly where this is at, um, you know, next to the snakes. But this is under my desk. This right here is gonna be our baby maker, our oven. You know, this is gonna be our DIY snake incubator. I'm gonna be turning this uh, cooler into a incubator to hatch my snakes i see like this is like a common method with a lot of people um, i'm just waiting to get a few more pieces in the mail and then i'm gonna be doing that pretty soon so stay tuned for that and i'm excited like i'm excited man this is our first ball python breeding season man and i appreciate everybody who's really joined the journey since i got my first ball python since i first got vader wednesday and mongoo and you know now we're making our own snakes man